Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahadka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth, which is a token from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, the ones who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson rather i wanted to share the the vision the brother you can see on the screen who is a member of the gms italy camp you know he had a very beautiful vision i thought i should share so the brother's name is um kalam okay which kalam means vision or dream so he named himself that name because you know the most i yahabashim yahushai gave him this beautiful gift of you know dreams and visions you know i can remember when it was coming into this truth you know because the most i used me to teach the brother so while i was teaching him the truth you know there were some times it was you know certain things didn't sit with him i would tell him to pray and ask the most i if it's if it's the right thing you know i'll tell him to pray to the names yahweh and the, and the son yahweh shai who's, who's the mediator that takes our prayers to the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. So whenever he prays, you know, at night, the Most High gives him different visions and, you know, he gets to see that, you know, what I was telling him is, is true, you know. So, you know, dreams and visions was a very instrumental way the Most High brought him to, into the truth, you know, in which myself, you know, dream was actually part of the things the Most High used in bringing me into this truth which we know according to the scriptures that these dreams are visions you know so well to cut the long story short the brother had a vision and in that vision it was the brother himself and i okay the brother and i we were in a place that looked like a kind of like hotel you know you know the, the hotels are structured you know it looked like we were in a hotel and in that dream we were expecting certain people we were expecting some people but we didn't know when those people were gonna come we didn't even know who those people were you know but we were actually expecting people to come so it got to the dead of the night you know really the dead of the night when everyone is asleep then the elder apostle taha and the elder apostle gaba ended up being the people we were waiting for you know so they came so when they came you know it was actually at the dead of the night and the elder apostle taha asked the the asked us you know did we prepare anything for them you know and we were like oh we didn't prepare anything because we didn't know what time they were going to arrive and the elder apostle taha was angry you know it was like you know you knowing that i was going to come you should have prepared something you know so the brother on the screen the brother kalam he hurried down to this huge kitchen you know trying to put together uh, certain things because everything was closed at that time remember it was in the dead of the night so he finally came back with the food and when he came back with the food <laughs> the funny thing was we didn't eat the apostles didn't eat you know he came back with the food and you know the apostles started setting up a camp you know so they set up a camp and you know we were teaching and you know the other apostle taha had this look on his face um how would i say a kind of severe look you know you know a kind of severe look you know not very happy you know kind of like hungry and hard you know he had that hard look so you know the the elder apostle gaba gave the brother a hug because the brother was actually you know kind of like 
you know, worried and afraid that the Apostle Taha is angry with us, you know. So he hugged the, the elder Apostle Gaba, which was a warm hug. And, you know, he asked the elder Apostle Gaba why the elder Apostle Taha was angry. And the elder Apostle Gaba gave a, a kind of smile and said, um, um, it's for your good, you know, it's for your good. Then um, after that, the, the apostles, they decided to leave. You know, they had, they had to go to Bulgari or Hungary, you know. Um, it seemed like they were going to get to some other brothers in, in Europe, you know. So immediately the, the, uh, the apostles left, you know, the scene just all changed. It switched. It became a kind of um, apoc apocalyptic kind of scene, you know, that kind of um, book of Elia book of Elia kind of scenery, you know, everything just, you know, changed, you know, the city was desolate, kind of like destroyed, you know, few people, you know, there was no food, there was nothing. And, you know, we had to go get some, some food and, you know, run away and go, go back to where we, we stay. You know, that's the end of the, of the vision, you know, hopefully this vision, you know, I, I explained it to the best of my ability according to how the brother told me the, the, the lesson, so um, told me the vision. So as um, the brother was telling me this vision, you know, some scriptures were coming into my mind. You know, we spoke about this and, you know, for the brother, the vision was very heavy. And while he was telling it to me, it was also a heavy vision, you know. So I'm going to pick up some scriptures I'm going to start up with the book of Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and verse 42. So remember, at the dream, we were expecting some people, you know, we, we weren't sure we were expecting. But at the end of the day, it happened that it was the, the, the elder apostle Taha and the elder apostle Gaba. And they appeared, they came at the dead of the night. So this is the scripture that comes to mind. This is the book of um, Matthew 24, 42, which quotes, Watch therefore, and this is Yahweh speaking. It says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Adawam, your Lord, doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what, in, in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken, you know. So we don't know what time Yahweh Shai comes back, you know. Um, and we know that the apostles are, are representatives of, of, of our savior Yahweh Shai, you know. That's why um, the word apostle actually means sent out, sent away. If I'm, if I'm wrong, someone can correct me, you know. So these men are actually represent, representatives of Yahweh Shai, just like Yahweh Shai is a representative of the Father, you know. So um, that's, that's just about it in that, in that point, you know. Um, the next scripture is the book of um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 okay and it says but of the times and the seasons brethren ye have no need that i write unto you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the lord Shai, so cometh as a thief in the night for when ye when they shall say peace and safety then suddenly destruction cometh upon them as travel so you know we are not we're not meant to be told you know about the signs of the coming of our savior yahweh shai we are meant to be found you know ready ready you know always ready you know so that point of the dream in which you know the, the apostles you know they just came and the elder apostle taha was angry that we, we didn't prepare the food you know and that food represents the truth you know the food represents the truth in which you know this is this is the time in which we want to find ourselves you know giving more into this into this into this truth you know walking you know because the return of our savior is soon 
you know and you know while he was telling me you know later thinking about the the vision you know it came to my mind um a week ago i believe i was watching the lesson put out um by the elder post um by the elder yeshuamba of the dallas you know they had um the elder post to rakar with them and the elder post to rakar was you know was telling them how you know um the elder post to taha used to be used to be a sort of hard to them you know telling them not to be weak men you know you know they had this you know this kind of very disciplinary upbringing you know so that dream was showing that um the elder post to taha is that kind of man very disciplined you know in which you know the, the spirit has been heavy on him um since the few years since um this is the second year that I'm in this truth and you know when I came into this truth watching this video is always like you know you know boosting our spirits up and you know bringing out orders that the brothers should be doing uh, at least a lesson a day you know so you know is that kind of person you know uh, and that's the spirit of Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is also an austere man you know so let me bring out the scripture that's really connects to when um the brother actually went to get the food because they came and at the elder post to Taha the first thing was like seeing that you know that I was going to we're going to arrive why didn't you prepare the food so let me show you that the food actually represents uh, the truth you know apart from the fact that Yahweh is the bread of life you know this is the book of um Luke chapter 12 so here um please bear with me no let me get the scripture first the book of John chapter 4 and verse 34 Can so this is the this is when um Yahweh Shai had a conversation with uh, with an hidden with a hidden woman you know the woman uh, the Samarian woman the city of Samaria who wasn't an Israelite so anyway to 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 just let you know um in verse um excuse me. Can in verse 8 it says, For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. You know, the disciples went out to get food, just like you know, the brother went out to get food, you know. And when the food came, you know, I'm just going to skip now. Verse 34. When it when the meat came, you know. No, I'm going to start off here. From verse 31. It says, and in the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. You know, they came back with the food, just like the brother came back with the food. But um, the apostles didn't stop to eat. When, when the brother came out with the food, you know, they just prepared a camp and we started teaching, you know. So it says, um, therefore said the disciple unto, no, it says, in the meantime, while his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Wherefore, therefore said um, the disciples one to another, Had any man brought him aught to eat? Because the brothers, um, you know, the brother, when he came back with the food, he was surprised that, you know, the apostles didn't stop to eat. You know, they just mounted up a camp. And he says, um, Yahweh Shai said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me that sent me and to finish his work you know so it's just beautiful because the brother went to the kitchen got the food came back and he found the apostles already you know mounting a camp you know so that they, they, they were all about the job you know the job that's that's what that's the kind of spirit we should be into man you know at this time at this time we we want we want to be about the the work of the Most High Yahweh Shai, pushing this gospel to the four corners of the earth, you know, 
And this is the time we really want to give our all in into this ministry, you know, because um, the time for, for payback is really close, man, you know. So I'm going to get the book of Luke, chapter 12 and verse 42. It says, And the Lord Yahushai said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward? Can let me just let me read from No, this is good. This is good. It says, And Yahushai said, Then who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is the servant whom is lord when a comet shall find so doing you know so blessed is that servant that's you know when your shy returns it's going to be found you know guiltless you know doing the work you know so this is not a time just like you know different people are pushing different kinds of wicked philosophies you know israelites are getting into the rap thing you know Turning the, the 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 ministry into into rap battles, you know, turning the ministry into 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 shows and debates and all that thing, you know, this is the time really that we we want to stay away from all that thing and be serious about this work, you know, because the time is also coming in which the Most High is going to make it is going to make it that we we, we can we can go out and teach this truth the way we, we we're doing. So this is the time we really want to give our all in. So the last scripture I'm going to bring out is in the book of Luke, chapter 19. Chapter 19, I'll read from verse 21. Um, anyway, um, this is actually speaking about um, the servants. This is the parable of the servants, you know. And the reason why I'm bringing I'm bringing this out is because you know, um, the elder postutar was angry at at us, and he was like, um, seeing that you know that we were coming, why didn't you prepare the food? You know. So man, this dream is really deep, but I hope that you know with my few words, you know, I'm doing justice to it. You know, sharing it the way I'm meant to share it. So it says, in verse twenty one, it says. He says, well, this is that servant, you know, that had his um, talent and he hid his talents. He didn't make good, uh, he, didn't, he didn't multiply his talents the way we meant to. He says, for I fear thee because thou art an austere man. Let me read from verse 20. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I fear thee because thou art an austere man, thou takest up that thou layest not down and reapest that thou didst not sow and he said unto him out of thine own mouth will i judge thee thou wicked servant thou knowest this is the point say thou knowest that i was an austere man taking up that i laid not down and reaping that i did not sow wherefore then givest thou uh, givest not thou my money into the bank that at my coming, I might have required my own with usury, you know. So, you know, when the brother was saying that, you know, my spirit just went straight to that point, you know, where the other apostle Tower was saying, you know, knowing that we're coming, why didn't you prepare the food, you know, which is this work, which is this work, actually. This is the truth, man, you know. So, hey, um, this dream, you know, for me was heavy, actually. You know, and for the brother as well, it was heavy, you know, because it was, um, you know, the dream, you know, as I bring up this point in the scriptures, you know, I hope it could, it can boost the brother's faith. You know, this is the time we really want to give our all in into this job, man, you know, so, you know, we can have our, we, we, we can have that perfect conscience when Yahweh Shai returns, you know, so um, this is the vision, you know. Hopefully, it was edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahawabah Sham Yahawashai. So, this is it. Until the next one, Shalawam.